Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marion. In today's video, I'm trying out a couple new products, you know, doing a little quick one-two. If you would like to see how I accomplish this look, then stay tuned. But before I jump into this video, do not forget to subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Hit the notification bell. And without further ado, let's hop into it. Baby, you give me ice and fire. Okay, so it's been, well, it hasn't been that long since I did a makeup look. So I thought I would get back into the swing of things of doing makeup, even though it's summertime and it's hot, I still want to, you know, do a little something, something. So while I was packing, I found my vitamin enriched face base from Bobbi Brown. I was like, I know I had one. So you can use this as primer or moisturizer. I'm gonna use it for moisturizer because there's a new primer that I wanna try out. So use this to kind of prep my skin. So while that moisturizer is settling in, I want to introduce the primer that I want to use. It's the Jelly Pop Dew Primer from e.l.f. Um, I think it came out maybe like a month or two ago. So. Um, I wanted to try it out. It says, do you want to know our secret? This multitasking primer has a unique gel texture that works like glue to grip makeup for a long lasting wear. So I think I'm going to use this like in my T-zone area. I don't need it all over. So this is one fluid ounce in case you're interested. And I think it was eight dollars if i'm wrong i'll have it down below but to me it has the same consistency of the other um primers oh this this feels thick it smells good it smells like watermelon is this watermelon mm, i don't know but it has a very fruity oh yeah fresh watermelon scent see I know my scents, so it's definitely giving tacky feel. I don't have a new eyebrow pencil to introduce, so I'm gonna do my brows off camera real quick. So I'm gonna use the Prada foundation. Really, really like this, really. And using an NYX or NYX professional foundation brush. So I wanna put most of the foundation around my hyperpigmentation, which is around my chin. Cause this is slightly darker than my skin tone, but for the summertime, it's perfect. So my face is a little bit dry, like around my nose. So I'm gonna spray it with the rest of the Hydro Grip to kind of like give it some type of moisture back. I don't know what that's about because I'm normally normal skin type, but you know, our skin changes. So I'm gonna use the Kofi Concealer but while I was boxing, I found the cover effects ones. So I wanna use both. This one is more so for coverage. And the other one will be just to brighten up because I think it's super duper brighter than this one. I don't wanna go too crazy, too ham. Let me put just a dot right there. I think that'll do. Let it dry down some. Um, I did pick up the Morphe and Ariel brushes last, sometime last month. These are the eye brush set. Some of them I've already taken out to use, but I like them. And then I picked up the Signature Face five piece. Now, the only reason why I got these is because I boxed up my brushes on accident and 
they're under a lot of boxes so yeah I use my Ulta points so technically I didn't spend any money to get this and then this is the face one and this is what they look like so it doesn't really tell what they are for and these long nails is making it hard for me to pull them out so I guess you you pick and choose what you want to use but this is what it looks like up close I really like this very soft no this one here I don't think I would have used for foundation it's a little bit softer than what I expected so let's blend out this concealer I'm taking the rest and putting it on my eyelid because I want to use that as my base. I'm going to do a little simple eye look. Yes, I'm going to do an eye look. I have to start back practicing a little of this. Like, I don't want to use a lot. This one is more liquidy, so let that set just a little, little bit more. Since I am doing an eye look, I'm gonna take this powder from Charlotte Tilbury and set my eyelids because they do crease. I'm gonna take a powder puff to blend this out because I only want it right here in my like inner corner of my eye, under eye. And then I need to blend it out. With silver left over on here, voila. I decided to film right here because I'm boxing up my stuff and it's just chaos. Utter chaos. Okay. I'm also going to set my under eye real quick. Now we're translucent, but I'm going to take this and set real quick. And as you can see, it gives an airbrush look. It is the airbrush powder. So with a powder puff, it, it does what it needs to do. Okay. So I have two palettes from ABH. I have the Nouveau and then I have the Cosmos. Both of them were on sale at Sephora. So let's take a look at both of them. So this is Nouveau and this is what it looks like. A lot of cool tone shades. And then Cosmos is like more my um, type of style. Especially like with these colors right here so I think I want to step out of my comfort zone and use the um, Nouveau palette so I'm gonna take Palamo and see what it do kind of set it again I think I want to take Metro Has a lot of kickback, so okay. This is very subtle, but I like it. It's not doing too much. I think I'm going to take floor and brush it at the top. As you can see, I didn't have a game plan. It's cute. It'll do. Do I want some shimmer or do I want to keep this all matte? I think I want some shimmer. I'm thinking to use wings. It's, it's different. I don't ever recall using this type of color before and hopefully I don't have to 
spray this. Okay. I don't. It's pretty. It's not even any fallout. Okay. Look at me picking a pretty color. Now, one thing about this palette, um, it doesn't have any like deep color, so I would have to tap into another palette just to deepen the, you know, the color range. I don't know if I don't mess this up doing this, but we gonna see. Oh no, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Definitely messed that up. Let's go into Cosmos for darker color. Dang, I don't like that. So I'm gonna take Bobbi Brown um, Honey, Soft Honey Sheer Finish Powder and set my entire face. And then, I'll go in with bronzer and everything else. I don't think this brush is for this, but it's going to be it for today. Okay. So, bronzer. For bronzer, I have the MAC bronzer. really like this one. This is in Deep Golden. It's very natural. So, if you're not looking for like a pow pow bronzer, get this one. Do you see it? It's, I'm telling you, like, this is the most natural, subtlest bronzer ever. I could go deeper, but I'm going to wait till I use this up because I do like the bronzer. And you can see it a little bit more on this side, but it's still, like, natural looking. Maybe if I do reverse contour, it'll kind of stand out more. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty peach pie and do a reverse contour to kind of make the bronzer stand out you know what i'm saying take the same powder puff i mean it's powder did that help i think it did it helped a little you can see the bronzer now to a certain extent Let's do blush. So I have these blush lighters from Fenty, Baked Peach, and Juicy Peach. I'm thinking we can do Juicy Peach. I really like this one. And I'm going to use this. And my nail just dug in the blush lighter. Oh, Marion. Let's see. Can you see it? I hope so. I hope my lighting isn't too bright. I'm gonna do a little nose contour, of course, with Fenty Caramel Cutie. And this is not the right brush, but it's gonna be it for today. I promise you, I'm gonna wash the brushes that I do have out. But I'm really mad that I boxed up the ones that I wanted to keep out to do my makeup with. Now, granted, I wanted these brushes, but I just didn't want them now. But thankfully, I had like over a hundred and some dollars worth of points for Ulta. I was saving them to get the T3 curling iron, but I'm gonna get the curling on as well. So my face is looking dry from all the powders. I'm gonna spray again. I'm gonna use this up, okay? Okay, so I'm thinking that I'm okay when it comes to the face. I could add a little bit more blush, but I'm not gonna do that. 
I feel naked because I don't have on any lashes. So as I was cleaning up, I found my eyeliners. Hopefully they're still good. They're going on my eyes and I don't need a stye. But I'm gonna use the Sephora um, waterproof eyeliner. This is in Satin Chocolate Brown, if I can open it. If it's still any good, let's see. It looks okay. It smell okay. <laughs> Let me do the liner real quick and I'll be right back. So I need to find some mascara. Cause I don't have a new one. Okay, here we go. Found it. I have a mini one from One Size Fantasize Mascara. This one here is huge. Look at this. So I have to do my mascara off camera so I can focus and not poke myself in the eyes. Okay, why not rock one of my favorite pairs? This is Powell Street 3D um, Foam Ink. This is Lily Lashes and Sephora Collection. Love this. Every time Sephora has a sale, I stack up on these lashes. They're so pretty and they're not like overwhelming okay lashes are on last thing lips and i'm gonna use the huda beauty lip gloss this is the faux filler and what shade is this foxy then i'm not going to use a lip pencil and there's a reason behind that but you don't even need one pretty 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 okay i'm back this is the final look i really like the way everything came out so my skin is a little dry but you know that's on me i need to take better care of my skin i have all these skincare products and i'll be slipping but you know what it is what it is so let's start with the eyes these two palettes i really like them the nouveau one i like it but I really have to dig into like another palette for darker shades because all of these would they, they will work, but I just feel like to like give it a little bit more mm, de definition, I had to go into this palette to use the darker brown. So this is what Cosmos looked like, and I used Mars, very pretty. So. I think they're still on sale. If so, go get these two palettes, um, especially if you're looking to add something new to your makeup collection. Um, the primer, the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer, I like it. I really like this one better than the Grip Primer, not the green one, but the other one. I like the green one. I just don't like the one that has the niacinamide in it. It's just, I don't know, it's something about it. But this one, I really like so I'll continue to use what else is kind of new to me that's it because everything else is the same as far as foundations and powders and stuff like that so I really like the way my look came out if you like the way it look you know leave a comment down below and let your girl know give this video a big thumbs up do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and as always thank you for watching Baby, you can